Hey there again, everybody. Streaming a lot today, but um, I don't know what just happened there. Um, streaming a lot today, but I've got the time and the energy and the know-how, so we're going to do it again. Red Dead Wednesday, part two. If you missed part one earlier, we hunted in New Austin. I mistakenly called it Amberino. My mistake. Uh, we're just outside of Strawberry now at the Trapper after we turned in our perfect condition woodpeckers and a uh, woodpecker and um, some other bird um, and a bunch of other things that we caught along the way. So go back and look at that. It's on Twitch. It'll be on YouTube again soon. And be sure to f hit follow. And follow me on Twitch so you can know when I start live again. Um, probably won't do too many in a row, but glad to be back on it. My time got short earlier today uh, for unexpected reasons, uh, but a, a nice 35-minute session isn't bad. Uh, I just finished doing a City Skylines scenario, so if you're interested in that, check it out. And now, without further ado... Let's go fishing. We're trying to catch the legendary rock bass, which is in Aurora Basin in Elizabeth or um, West Elizabeth, that is, far west, west of Blackwater and the tall trees near Mantanina Post. I'm going there strictly because it's conveniently located near the trapper. When I'm hunting, I try to be close. Um, it's hard in New Austin because I don't believe that there is a trapper there. Which is strange, but it's not too far out of reach. It's more of a inconvenience than anything. Though I do wonder if I fast travel if my um, my animals that I've hunted and stored on my horse will be be there. And look, these are still hanging on my horse. I didn't expect that. So I'm gonna go back to the trapper, turn that in. Um, it is it is odd to me that that those didn't get on there. Maybe I didn't save. Maybe it didn't auto save after I sold it. So I definitely right. don't remember saving on my own. So here we are. I've got to sell all these things. It's strange that it saved my location at the trapper, but not the cells that I made. So we got this perfect woodpecker carcass carcass earlier today um, because I was streaming. That's the only reason I was that lucky. It's never going to happen again. Just kidding. Hopefully it does. Uh, we caught some crows. We got eagle talons. Going to keep the feathers for now. We'll sell one and uh, get down to five of these ones we're going to need. But um, We were attacked by wolves, so we're selling those. Perfect vulture was the other thing we got. Um, Got lucky in that regard, too. Those are a lot easier to catch, though, because of being able to use a varmint rifle instead of a small game arrow. We're selling all that. We'll sell some meat because we're going to get more. Okay, and here we are. We've sorted our business out. My apologies that it was not done before I began. But, you know, sometimes that's the way it goes. Unexpected well. things. That's why we like the live atmosphere on the live stream. Something you got to be careful of out here. I mentioned I got attacked by wolves earlier this morning. And I don't want to do it again. But there's also bears. Cougars. Especially out this part. I've been accosted by both. Uh oh, we just ran over a bunny rabbit, I believe. It's not for the faint of heart. Frontier life. Yep. There it is. Not really a lot of value in it. It's in poor condition because we stomped all over it and trampled it to death. Poor thing. But we'll keep its hide. Make a quarter off of it or something like that. And we've got a little bit of extra meat. The X's on the mini-map, they're dead bodies. Um, the Skinner brothers have a hideout nearby. That's what that marks. 
Skinner Brothers are an at-large gang. There's a few gangs in this game. Hey, a skunk. I don't think I've caught a skunk yet. Let's see where it went. I definitely scared it off. It's a only a good striped skunk. We want a perfect one. I can't see where it That's went. Cool. You know, when you're hunting, you don't want an animal that's going to make a lot of noise, like a horse. Be better to get off of it. But we'll continue onwards now that we've lost the skunk. Skunks are a little more rare than something like a rabbit or a, even a squirrels. So that's why I turned there. Uh oh. Boy, it'd be great if I was good at aiming, huh? I can't use a varmint rifle. Maybe that was good enough. We'll hope. Can you swim? I can't remember if you can swim in Red Dead Redemption, so I'm gonna get on my horse. I need to fix my dead eye. Gotta eat some food or something. Choose some tobacco. Oh, and it's in good shape. Okay, we'll pick it up. I've never got a goose. It's first goose. Good luck. Streaming, good luck. What can I say? Maybe they designed the game that way, so you'd be more inclined to share it with others. We've got to eat some food food. We've got some big game meat. We're going to eat that. It'll fill up all of our cores. Probably a little cold, too, so... Might be worth trying to change my outfit if I can remember how to do that. Range gloves I'm already wearing. For some reason I thought you could do it beside your horse. I think there's a way and I'm just not remembering it so I do beg your pardon there. And Maybe you can let me know in the comments. Alright so we're here at the lake. This is where the legendary bass is. But we haven't been notified that it's here. Ah now we have. So, on the map, it's been updated. It's got this pretty drawing of the rock bass with a crown on it. Because it's the king of all the rock bass. And there's a little goose. Because we caught a goose there. Now we know where goose, geese, land. So we're going to fish. And you grab your fishing rod here. And... I'm not really sure what it likes to eat, but there's special um, special reels, uh, lures that you want. You want to use the, ah yes, the, the, the special lake lure. We have a special river lure. They're the only thing you can catch with the, the legendary fish with our special lures. So we're going to get the special lake lure because we are in a lake. And we'll let John take his time. These little swirly spots are fish. We don't quite know where the rock bass is, and that's kind of the fun of fishing. It's not like hunting where you can scope them out. Though you may be able to use dead eye and see under the water. We'll try that after this cast. Gotcha. We've got one on the hook. And in the game, you want to pull back and forth on the reel and spin it while you're doing that. So it will pull the fish closer. You don't want to pull too hard or reel it in while it's fighting because it can pull your line back out. I don't think that's the king. I think the king would have fought a little harder. I could be wrong. Nope, it's a large mouse. Pretty good size one, four pounds. Nothing to sneeze at. Oh, you're coming with me. I had to write home to my dad about that. Now let's see if I dead eye. It just shows that there are fish there. So maybe the rock bass isn't there. But we see the birds here. We're not going to bother the birds. Um, if you shoot at the birds in the water, uh, okay. it will scare the fish. If you 
throw your hook out too far, it'll scare the birds like that. Sometimes you want to flick the rod to kind of make it look alive. And we got one on the hook. We set the hook. Now we just got to let it easy, buddy, easy, buddy. All right. And pulling it in. Got to be careful not to break the line. That might be a rock bass. It's kind of smaller. Nope, it's a large mouth. Beautiful fish. In this game, they really did their homework on it. They could have just changed the colors and had the same fish design, you know. That's the thing about this game. It is so beautiful. The story's cool. Being a cowboy is, you know, real fun, but just the detail is stunning. The reflection in the water is perfect. It's coming up a cloud, so hopefully that doesn't scare our fish away. Land it right on top of them all. That might scare them away, definitely. Sometimes the fish are more likely to bite if it rains. Because they're expecting bait to be falling from the trees, maybe. I'm no fisherman scientist. I'm simply the son of a fisherman. Alright, that's pretty hard. That might be our guy. Come on, baby. Do the locomotion. Come on. Come on. Do the locomotion with me. No, 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 no. Easy, easy, easy. Come on, come on. Alright, we're almost there. You can do it. Right over the rock. Whoa, okay. It's not our man, but another four pound bass. We're just going to keep them. We'll sell them later. Even with this game, you have to be patient while you fish. Just another piece of the realism. Hunting the legendary animals is a little easier because you're given specific indicators of their location. You can trace them using Deadeye. And you can kill them a lot more quickly than you can find them in the water fishing. I'm not sure if I've caught a legendary fish to tell you the truth. I moved on to other tasks. That's it. You gotta kind of pull against it when it's fighting. You don't want to reel because that could break the line. But if you pull your rod and kind of keep it from getting crazy... So the fish doesn't unspool the line. That's important. Well, we know where we want to go if we're going to catch a good largemouth bass. My goodness, four pounds, four pounds, four pounds. You know, it could be a lot worse. We're in no hurry. It's a beautiful day in the game now that the storm passed. It's a beautiful day at my house. Just a few blocks from the Long Island Sound. Anyone hungry then? That was a long cast. Good job. We'll slow it down just a little bit. a little flick. We don't want to scare the fish. But just a little bit of life. Reflection of the clouds is throwing me off. There we go. We set the hook. We got one and boy, it's rowdy. Come on. Got a long way to reel in. Long cast, long reel. 
but pulling it really makes a big difference. So keep that in mind. Easy, come on. This thing has got some kick to it. It might be a rock bass. Nope. Another largemouth. I'll be darn. You're quite a largemouth. Yeah, we'll keep it too. And I'm, I'm just gonna walk around. Maybe we can find a different spot to fish. Cause it is a big lake. I'm pretty sure the the whole lake is the home of the rock bass. There's a frog. Look at that. Not that we need a rifle, but two-star toad. So we'll go back to our fishing rod. Won't ever turn down a perfect kill if I could get it. It helps with crafting things from the trapper and um, XP, that sort of stuff. In general, it's not a very serious uh, chore. You know, you're not going to miss out on anything, really. Okay, that was the words, the worst cast in history. So, I'm going to try again. We've overshot all the fish in our vicinity. But this might be better since it's on a pier. Maybe we'll find the rock bass. Maybe there's more rocks in the shallower water. Oh, they're interested. Look at them move over. Come on, just pop it. There we go. See how he took that bait? Just when I flicked it. Immediately. Oh, it's a baby. Oh, still four pounds. My goodness. Well, we have no more room for largemouth bass, so this one gets to go on for another day. Um, I'm pretty sure the game will tell you when the window of opportunity has passed. I'm not sure if the fish will get spooked and, you know, won't be hungry anymore. But I know the legendary animals, if you don't get them quickly or you scare them off because you're fighting other animals, then you have to come back another time. Usually like one in-game day. This is a, a very light. I want to say, I want to find just one rock bass so I know what it feels like. But this one feels lighter than the largemouth, but that doesn't mean anything. Once again, here it is. It looks like a four pounder still. Beautiful fish, though. You get good guy points for throwing fish back, so... Oh, I probably should have checked out what the heck that was. I forgot I was sitting over here. Golden Eagle. Wow. I could have killed that guy. I still might, but then we'll definitely spook the fish. And that's what we're here for. That's our priority. We'll let that, that golden eagle be golden for another day. Stay golden, eagle boy. Largemouth really like it when you flick the rod. Especially in real life. Sometimes you just got to tease them. And if you tease them, they'll... Just love it. I mean, that, I'm surprised that didn't spook them more. Landed right in the middle of a bunch. Of, there we go. Come on. Damn line. Dang. Well, we broke the line here. Um, just because I didn't fight it enough. Hopefully that wasn't the fish we're here for. That legendary rock bass. But it didn't say we lost our chance, so, okay, I don't know what's going on there, but I think it's the pier being in the way, the legs of the dock. Oh, 
a little far from these fish, so we gotta kind of sucker them in again. And here they come. There goes one big boy. Hello. Did you see it all? It wasn't even swirly. Oh, look at that! There it is. Like a thief in the night, it snuck up. No swirls, nothing. Just a, a little black mass. You blinked and you'd have missed it. Real ugly fish. Ugly, ugly compared to the largemouth especially. Three pounds, five ounces. And of course we are going to keep that guy. Because he is the legendary one. I think you might be able to come back for the fish and... You know, fish a second legendary one. Don't quote me on that. I could be very wrong. I've been wrong before, but don't tell anybody if I am. Ooh, duck. Anybody hungry? There's another woodpecker. Can't kill it with a varmint rifle, and my bow is on the horse. We could kill it, but we wouldn't get a clean kill. Which is really what we want. If you're wondering how I knew to look over here for the legendary fish, of course you can look up online. I've used this map app from Map Genie. They have one for um, Red Ed Redemption 2 that's really handy in terms of finding all the things, the collectible things. The animals, the strangers, um, any other sort of items that you need in the game to, to reach, you know, complete, 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 100%. And I really like it. It it's, saves me a lot of hassle. You don't have to be in a browser specifically. So, you know, try that out if you're interested in that sort of stuff. And if you pay, I, I don't know, five bucks, you can cross as many things off of that list. So you know where the, what you've already gotten and where. Look at that big old boy. Okay. No, this calls for bigger guns than that. I'm going to get this rare rolling block rifle. Oh, that thing sticks out like a sore thumb. Bright, bright brown. Got a fish in his mouth, too. Oh yeah, you thought you were just going to get this fish. Now we've got a bear too, and I had a feeling we would find a bear here. Oh, and it's a big old thing too, my. It's beautiful, really. Unfortunately, it wasn't a perfect grizzly bear. We did get a clean kill on it, but I think there's an achievement for a trophy, like a PlayStation trophy, if you get attacked by a bear and still kill it. I think you have to do that like 18 times, though, and I definitely have not done that. But it's scary. It's really stressful getting attacked by a bear. Who's going to do that willingly? That is some psychotic stuff, but I guess I'm going to do it at some point if I want to get that trophy. Or maybe it'll just happen naturally if I keep hunting with you guys. Thank you for watching this. And um, we're going to go right off into the sunset, or in this case, the pouring rain. And we're going to go back to the trapper. And we are going to sell that rock bass. Thank you for, for watching this video. Uh, please do follow me on Twitch, subscribe on YouTube, and follow me on Instagram to stay up to date with other parts of my life and the work that I do instead of just streaming, if you're interested. All of that, you can find me at Ronely Conley. That's R only C only, including my website is R only C only dot com. Ronely Conley, I'm Justin. Thanks for being here. It's Red Dead Wednesday. We do. I'm going to try to do this every Wednesday, but I, I will be working this summer, so 
I just won't be able to as much. So I'm trying to squeeze it in with you now while I know I can. Welcome back, sir. Of course, you don't have to carry your stuff, your bear skin to the trapper. You can just walk right up and then he'll take your items and give you money for it, which is nice. I didn't think that would be the case the first time I tried to hunt and take it to the trapper. We'll sell the poor rabbit pelt, poor guy. The goose, I forgot we got the goose. We got the goose, and we got a bear, and we got the rock bass. I don't think you sell the trapper, the rock bass, come to think of it. So uh, disregard that. You have to mail it, I think, to the guy at the post office. Let's see, it should be in the satchel. Documents. Hunting requests is what we want the squirrels for. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the note would be. I'm sorry, I'm not all knowing. It has been a while. I've, I've stepped away from Red Dead Redemption for a long time. Um, just because I honestly didn't have the heart to finish the game. I was dreading it, and it was as depressing as I thought it would be. But there were twists that I didn't expect. And um, that's something to be thankful for. We got a long way to go to get the black water to mail this off. When I put this on YouTube, I'm sure I will cut all of this out. But who knows what we'll find along the way. We have to go along the mountainside, so take in the nice vista. So let's see what that guy's about. Who are you? Ooh, a great horned owl. Study that, add it to the compendium. I'm all about collecting some stuff, y'all. Especially hunting. It's so fun. I like bird watching. I hate to kill the birds in the game, but you do have to... Sometimes that's the easiest way to add them to your compendium in the first place. Good job, lady. Um, which is really kind of morbid when you think about it, but... Hazards of being a completionist. I very much am about all about completing these kind of lists and scavenger hunts and that sort of stuff. And there was just a rabbit, and I guess I scared it in the other direction. Oh, there it goes. And sure enough, it is a perfect rabbit. We've got four arrows. Can we do it? That's a turkey, and I just pulled the trigger, so I think it's safe to say that our jackrabbit will be long gone. By the time we get to Phoenix, I was hiding in the bush. was hiding in the bush, and I blew it. Oh, that's not it. There it is. hit it. Did not get the clean kill, unfortunately. Now it's a two-star. I think it's still alive.
this still alive. Dang. Poor thing, I didn't mean to hurt it for nothing. But you know, if I can get that woodpecker, you would think I would be able to catch a rabbit with a arrow ahead of time, but like I said, I got lucky this morning with the, the woodpecker. I do recommend you check that video out. I'll probably make a clip of it and put it on Twitch. Probably definitely timestamp it on YouTube at least. Oh, riding like this always gets the highwaymen stuck in my head. Especially when it's storming like this. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? stop to look around sometime you might miss something play some dominoes nope not good at dominoes there's a challenge for the gambler where you have to win three games in a row and I don't think I'm ever gonna get that to happen it's just not my luck I'm, I get lucky once and then I lose as you've seen we've learned today I send mail yeah here we go oh I found a dinosaur bone recently there we go and we're going to send it to whomever is really into these fish. Let's hold for details. Jeremy Gill. Oh, yes, I remember Jeremy Gill. We were in trade school together. A fisher of fish. 13 of them. Oh, and I have gotten a couple. Excellent. Or quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only eight left. Eight out of thirteen ain't bad. That math doesn't quite add up. One, two, three, four, five, six. So seven. I was a theater major, not a math major. Give me a break. Thank you. All right, well, that concludes the fishing for the rock bass. Now you know what to do with it after you catch those fish. Thanks for tuning in. It's quite peaceful. Let's do it again sometime. You can be notified when that happens if you follow me on Twitch and subscribe on YouTube and hit that little notification bell. Like this video for me, please. It'll do me a lot of good, so they say algorithmic reasons, I guess. Again, not a math major, so cut me some slack. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Ronley Conley. That's R only, C only. Got it? Good. Take it easy, y'all.